And calling all golfers, you're invited to tee off for the Save the Bay Golf Tournament happening April 10th, but this is no ordinary event. Yeah, while golfers can enjoy the day on the links, the tournament has a greater impact on the community. News 13's Tess Rowland, alive from the Sheridan uh, Golf and Beach Resorts. Uh, more on details. Good morning, Tess. Hey, good morning, Chris and Erin. Yes, April 10th is a date that you're going to want to save in your calendar. It's the date of the Save the Bay Golf Tournament, and I'm actually joined this morning with Mr. Matt Sutherland with the Sheridan, and of course, Mary Beth Barnett with the St. Andrews Baywatch Project. And so talk to me about this event. I'm hearing that you've, you're having a lot of turnout with golfers this year. We are. We, uh, we're very excited to host it uh, again this year, and our fourth year should be our sixth. Uh, but we especially like to thank our partners at the Bay Point Golf Club as well. They've been great support for us. Uh, we are still actively promoting teams for the tournament. Uh, please visit our Facebook page uh, to see more details on that as well. A great opportunity for golfers of all levels to get out. And what type of prizes can it, they get? It is. Well, we've got our uh, first place prize in the tournament this year with uh, overnight accommodation and uh, around the golf for fourth St. James Bay Golf Club. Uh, so we're excited to have that, and, and that's a great, uh, great, great first round, f first place prize for us. Absolutely, and I'm going to turn my attention to Mary Beth Barnett with the St. Andrews Bay Project. So you guys, you know, benefit the ecosystem here, really geared toward, you know, keeping our waters clean. But, you know, why is it so important? Well, you know, our bay, we use it all the time out here. People use it for recreation. It's a big driver for our economy. It's just really important to create habitat, to have something really pretty to look at and then be stewards of our environment. So we at Baywatch, personally, we do a lot of water quality monitoring. We install living shorelines. We're doing a sediment study right now to kind of see what's out there, what, what kind of things that shouldn't be there might are in the bay. And we're going to analyze that. We're working with the new estuary program out of FSU to kind of get that done and, and see what we can do for in the future and make a wide range management plan long term. So a lot of this funding from this golf tournament is going to benefit your projects. Correct? Yeah, absolutely. And the people who live here in Panama City are really the ones who benefit because you kind of know what's around you, like what is in your bay and what can you do about it? And we're always looking for more water quality volunteers. So if anybody already goes in the bay, maybe for fishing or just for fun, just add on some water quality monitoring that we're always looking for more volunteers. Yeah, definitely. It's a great opportunity to get involved and of course, enjoy a great round of golf in a beautiful place. I want to thank you guys so much for spending your morning with me and Lauren. I'm hoping that the weather holds up for an event like this.